we are about to review the top five fishing snacks. I hope by the end of this video, we can come up with an order from greatest to least great, least greatest, worst. Yeah, so this was my idea to bring this. Peanuts. Mm. Why peanuts? In my opinion, one of the most underrated fishing snacks. And by the way, when we say fishing snacks, they're just snacks really, but snacks that we have when we're fishing. So salted peanuts, tell me what you think, Alex. Um, not want you've eaten it, obviously. Reminds me of an old English pub. Yeah, see, that's good. I think that's a positive. I don't think there's anything wrong with an old English pub. And peanuts, they're crisp. They are dry. They're a source of protein and high in fiber, which means when you go to the loo, it like makes it easy to come out, isn't it? What? Yes, fiber does help with your digestive system. Yeah. Mm, right, we've got to not eat too much of each one. We've got to get on to the next yeah. one. KP, original salted peanuts. It's top level, it's good stuff. It's in my good books. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got biscuits. That was your contribution. Yeah. Why, why them? If you don't like milk chocolate digestives, then you're missing out because they are great on their own and even better when they're dunked in a hot chocolate. You dunk them once, lift them out, wait five seconds, dip them again, wait a bit longer, and you've just got to find the balance. You don't want to... And then eat. it breaks off and falls to the bottom. Yeah, then you've lost the game. And do you dunk in tea, coffee? No, it's hot chocolate only. Oh. I know oh. some people will disagree. Well, I was going to say, I, I think the fact that we haven't brought tea or coffee along today kind of lets down all of the carp anglers who watch our channel, so big apologies about that. Wait, what are you eating? Well, these are my biscuits. You brought them, I brought these. Ah. These are custard creams. And if you're a child, or if you were once a child, which probably all of you will have been a child at some point, you probably would have broken them in half, like so, and then taken the one which broke with the like custard creamy stuff in, and then, and then put it one on top of the other so you get a custard cream that's like double. Right. You know what I used to do? I used to put them in my pocket so that they warmed up. And once they're warm, you can then scrape the custard off. What? So, you, so then you can get multiple custard cream. What? Scrape all the cream all into one. And you get like what you've done, but I have a layer about that thick of custard. But then the only problem is, what about all the, all the ones that didn't have the custard, like these ones? They're just, oh. that's dreadful, isn't it? Just put them straight in the bin. In the bin? Yeah, they get rid of them. Mate. They're not worth it. That's wasteful. You, you, do, you are, that's not on. Um, don't do that, all right? But yeah, these ones that are, are left without any, I mean, you could just put them together and just eat basically a depression cream. Dry. Dry. Not worth it. No, what I'd do, I'd Miserable. save them. I'd save them for a, making a cheesecake. These ones sum up my life and these ones sum up Alex's life. <laughs> you saying I'm thin? <laughs> no, I'm just saying you're what? It's pointless. <laughs> so these are my top... Uh, Biscuit whilst on the bank and custard creams are cows. So but biscuits in general are pretty yeah pretty elite. I'd say if you don't have biscuits in your in your pack lunch then what you doing? Gotta get some. Yeah. And <laughs> um, we should really talk about uh, our drinks. Drinks. I think the best Fanta I have I I ever had was the fruit twist one. That's way better than the orange. I mean, Honestly. we've got this today because this is just what they had as part of meal deal at the B. Meal not, deal. Why do you, what, I don't say it weird as part of the meal deal at the BP. No, it was a shell garage, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like a shell garage connected to Waitrose. So yeah. we went up market today. We went real fancy and got this as our meal deal for this now, video. I think meal deals are good because they're deals and they're meals, but this thing just is, a little bit. See, you don't like sandwiches that are made Look at it. in the it's, past. Do it's you? like that could have been in there for weeks, months, Think, years. I just don't know. For Alex, 
a sandwich has to be fresh because it's got like well it's i used gooey. to like that as well i used to look at it and be like oh someone else made that it might have been a week ago it's disgusting they put that butter on it it's just gone they the also bread. might have spat in it no they probably didn't no, they'd probably get sacked but when i was with it with uh, alan blair in liverpool he said come on carl you can't live your whole life not eating a sandwich made by someone else he's like you know you've got to live it up so i i bought a sandwich but it did change my outlook on on life, really. I thought from that day onwards, I thought I'm never going to make a sandwich ever again. Gooey, slimy, old, mouldy. I don't Not mind. Bad. I don't mind monster much, though. Well, that's the part of the meal deal that will satisfy Alex, whilst I chow down on my classic BLT with smoked bacon from none other than Waitrose. Here it go. I'm telling you something, we've gone up in the world. Mm. Mm. We're going to need to use the uh, cooker for this part because we've got a great debate about to emerge. In this video we're going to rate like these snacks from top to bottom, one to five, top five fishing snacks, hence the video's title. But part of that sort of debate is which of these is best. Because we can only have one type of noodle in the, you know, in the list. And we've what got- What do you think is better? Well, pot, pot noodle or super noodle? What was the price? Were they similar? Um, I can't remember, but. I mean, this is neat because it all, it's, all in the, it's all in the pot, you know? That you gotta pour out into mm. the and that the is actually then you've got to do washing up a and very no, good point no one likes washing up i mean some people might is that the hand of the monster or the footprint oh don't start that one out because like it's called monster Munch, but what actually is that no that's in it's the, the monster itself it's, it's like that no carl it is that's the monster it looks like that's its teeth If anybody knows what this is, no, it, it, that, that, it's the let monster me going know. like that. It definitely is. Good though. I just, just, you want some? I just googled monster munch monster. Yeah. What did it say? Hey, what? I knew it. What? It's not its hand. No. It's not its hand. It's not its feet. Its feet. It's that. Big head, arm, legs. Blimey. That That's does fine. not look anything like a monster. Ooh, it doesn't exactly look like a hand or a foot either. And they don't taste like monsters either. They taste good though. Mm. Monster Munch, approved by me. So whilst we wait for the super noodles and pot noodles water to boil, we have another special snack. I've, I'm realizing that we haven't done much health. Like so a, think we haven't put an apple in, a banana in, or you know, a healthy sandwich. We haven't put anything in that we would probably encourage mm. our viewers to eat. I would definitely advise you you eat as much fruit and vegetables as, as you can. Fruit, but vegetables, when nuts, you're... seeds, protein, they're, they're good for you and that will keep you alive longer and that, therefore you can catch more fish. If, you, if you're going fishing though and you quickly need to stop at a shop and get some food though, this is what you're likely to find at the gas station. Sorry, we don't call it gas station, do we here? <laughs> Alex, well, we spent quite a lot of time in America. And um, we pretty much lived off service station snacks, didn't we? Yeah. And our time in America may, meant us use some different words. Meant us use some Meant Meant that we use, basically, our time in America meant that we lost our English capacity accent. to speak English. Of all the Haribos in the world, Tang Fastics are the one. Something about that mm. sugary, tangy yeah. coating. It's, oh, it's unreal. It's so yeah, special about that's, on, that's on the, that's up there. I think they're great. We're gonna finish eating these. Get finish, finish eating those? Not all of them. Don't eat all of them. Some of them. That would be irresponsible. And then hopefully that water gets hot enough to make some noodles. I'd say, a third of fishing is eating. Because whenever you're waiting for the fish to bite, you just eat, don't you? Um, 
So yeah. it's important to get your get your food right. Get your food right. Especially if you do a lot of blanking like us. Oh, look, here we go, boiling water. Uh, no. That would be stupid. That is something that you don't pour from a meter in the air. It's quite hot. Yeah. Remember, filter the line. No higher or else What line? Stop. They put two lines. They're so dumb. I don't know. Filter the first line. You wanna go you wanna go al dente al dente. Yeah. Which I think is the word for like slightly not you know, not too soggy. We used to have pot noodles every session. Every fishing trip we went on we just grabbed a pot of noodle and we did that for a few years and then I just got so sick of them. You know when you have too much of something. Yeah, I used to have them for lunch and they're just oh, like, I just started to hate them. I'd like have I'd just be like, oh, I couldn't think of anything worse eating than a pot noodle. But it's bringing back memories, positive memories. But yeah. And then with the super noodle, you simply just put it in. No, 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 some no, no. You don't, you, don't, you don't put it in the hot water. What would you do? You just take it, just take a bite. You are disgusting, Carl. That's just. Sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> Do you know just don't do that. Just don't be like Carl and you'll be okay in life. But yeah, you're right about the whole. Um, do you have to actually boil them? The container thing. I thought you just popped them in the hot water and a little bit of boil. I mean, I don't look at instructions, I just go with instinct. Do we have a fork? Oh yeah, there should be some fork. Um, thank you. Pot noodle should be nearly done, to be honest. How long do they say to wait? Because I'm never patient. Yeah, like t two minutes. It's probably been about two minutes. Two minutes? That's right. quick. Yeah, pot noodles are quick, easy food. I need some more water for mine. I gave you most of it. You only need 300 mil for super noodles. <laughs> Carl I Googled that as well <laughs> before we made the video. <laughs> Carl knows all about how to cook. Carl doesn't know how to cook any proper food. He just knows all the perfect instructions for pot noodles and soup. I know, I, I know how to cook um, frozen pizzas. Oh, Alex has just poured on the flavorings. So noodles originate from Asia. Asia, don't they? I think so. And thankfully, they spread to Europe because now I can eat them and enjoy them. Now, someone brought them over. Was mm. it um, Columbus? Columbus. Mm. Columb Colum no, no. Christopher Columbus. Alex. Neither of us listened in history lessons at school. I don't think we should. Darwin. Darwin. He, he went. He travelled the world, didn't he? Learnt loads about evolution. Evolution and noodles. And noodles. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Definitely brought noodles back yeah. from Asia. Definitely. I went to a proper um, noodle restaurant a couple of weeks ago when I was at that koi show. Yeah. I just went in, in there and just had a nice meal on my own and it was just delicious. Yeah. And I think I've spoiled myself at that proper noodle place because this is a bit weak. But if you're on the bank and you don't want to do any like cleaning up and you don't want to bring that like, much cut, you just want to bring a fork. I'd say pot noodles are a, a, a solid a solid bankside meal. And they're big enough. They're, they're, that's enough food to do you for, for dinner. You, I could eat that and just be done. Yeah. Big people probably couldn't. Like, more. If you're food orientated. Yeah, if you're really yeah. hungry, maybe bring two. Three. This one is really hot. You're making a mess of that, bro. Hmm. Super noodle is better than pot noodle. You still got loads of water in it. I know. Because yeah, I added too much. Yeah, way too much. Pull that out. Do a swap if you want. No, 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 no. I, I meant like I'll hold the noodles. Mm -hmm. Why did you bite the fork so hard? I bent it. Well, <clears throat> definitely having some sort of noodle in your armory is a good idea. In your armory? I mean. <laughs> in your pack lunch. Yeah. I would definitely uh, bring noodles with me on every But which one? Trip. We have to, we can only have one decision. I'm it's taking pot, super noodle. I'm taking pot noodle, so let's have a fight. No. Um, what, we ha Josh, third person to, because your vote is gonna make the deciding. 
think I'll go pot noodle. Yeah, pot noodle. This pot noodle story, wins. Alex. Pot noodle is the best type of noodle out of these two types of noodle. It comes with a pot, which is a big advantage. Yeah, exactly. Which, which, yeah, which is, is is probably the the thing that if you walk out into London and start going free pot, free pot, people will love you. Whatever you do, though, don't just eat all your fishing snacks at once, like we're doing. Yeah, I'm definitely definitely not feeling particularly healthy right now. Mm. How are we going to choose a, a winner? What are you doing? What are you I'm trying to make an order for all these? But I can oh, order peanuts, KP peanuts. Peanuts were good, yeah. Peanut, there's nothing wrong with peanuts unless you're allergic to them. <laughs> Then there is something wrong with peanuts. So I got the, I got. I got had a friend at school. Yeah. Who was so allergic to peanuts that if he saw a photo of peanuts on Google Images, he would get an re a reaction. <laughs> That's simply not true. No, honestly, I saw it with my own eyes. You saw him get a reaction to his face swelled up. He had to run out. Got sent home from school. Simply, and he didn't come back. Not true. He, he didn't come back. It was, it was the peanuts. I think he just didn't want to be your friend. Thing is, it's hard. Biscuits. You can't oh, really. No, no. I've come to a conclusion. You can't order them in a proper order because they go. are so different. This is a scientific order. Very scientific. Very scientific. Meal deal comes out at number. No, no. We've got to start at the bottom. Noodles come out at number five. They're a great food, but. They don't get me that hyped. Biscuits, above that. Number four, great product. Go well with you know, your drinks, your whatever. Lovely little snack to keep you going on a fishing session. Haribo, at number three, because they're just really good. The only reason they didn't score higher is because they're so unhealthy. There's so much sugar in there, you, you're just gonna drop get, dead if you have two packs. Yeah, get di diabetes or mm. something. Above Harry Bow is peanuts because peanuts balance health with snackability. You know, because the peanuts come from the planet, they're, na they're natural, aren't they? Peanuts come from underground. No, I thought they grow on tree peanut trees. They come from underground. You're telling me that peanuts live underground? Yeah. And you dig them up like, like potatoes. Potato. Really? Might need to check that one actually. Okay. And the only thing to score more highly than peanuts of, my, of, the, of this selection is the meal deal. Reason being, the meal deal, Alex finds it funny when I say meal deal, I don't know why it's funny. The reason that meal deal comes out on top is because it's the country's favorite. In my opinion, a service station meal deal is on a level with fish and chips. Like, if it wasn't for... What the heck, Carl? No, 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 not for me, but like, for the country. Like, no. if, if, if there wasn't such thing as meal deals in, in service stations up and down the country, we'd have to rename it Britain instead of Great Britain. That is how important meal deals are to the culture of the working class people in the United Kingdom. And for that reason, meal deal came out. On, Alex doesn't agree, because he just, he, 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 he thinks he's better than all you people who eat meal deals for lunch, but he's not, okay? Okay? But thanks for watching. I know many of you will disagree on our ratings. Please. And scores. Please uh, comment down put, below. Put lots of hate comments below. No. And uh, also advise us on what you think is the best fishing snack. Yes. Cheers, Alex.